the last few years, we've gotten a lot of questions about how can we build organic matter in soil. As a farmer, you know how important organic matter is. It basically kind of cushions your soil. It's like a sponge in your soil also to hold water and nutrients until your crop needs it. It is just incredibly important for overall soil health. So today we will talk about how you can build organic matter levels in the short term and the long term on your farm. All right, let's start with the big thing first, tillage. We get a lot of questions about tillage. Hey, should I work more of that residue into my soil or should I quit working the ground entirely? Well, if you quit working the ground entirely, that would be the best thing you could do if you want to try to build organic matter quickly. Now, at that point, some people say, wait a second here, don't I want to put some of that organic material from the top of the soil down in? Isn't that what's going to build things? Actually, it kind of works the opposite way. If you start working the ground and putting more of that organic material off the top of the ground in, you're actually putting a whole bunch of oxygen down into the soil too. And it really is like adding fuel to the fire and it starts burning it up quicker. So sometimes people will say, well, I hadn't done tillage for a while. Then I did some full scale tillage and it really improved my yields. It probably did because a lot of the nutrients that were tied up in that residue now got broken down fast. So reducing tillage is important. Leaving that root mass intact underneath the soil is really the key. When you think about a big tall corn plant, about half of the plant material is above the surface and about half is below. And if you leave it untilled, that's where you can really build organic matter. Okay, so reducing tillage, you don't have necessarily have to go no-till, but reducing tillage is important. The next thing is, Darren just mentioned corn and its roots. I want you to think about every plant you could possibly raise in your farm and what Darren just said. Half of all the plant mass is going to be above ground, half is below ground. So what's the biggest plant above ground? Well, for most people, that's probably corn. So that plant is going to have the most roots. If you want to build organic matter faster in the short term, and really in the long term, you should plant crops with lots of roots. Corn on average has five times the root mass of a soybean plant, so corn would be a better choice than soybeans. Now I'm not saying don't ever raise soybeans or you can't build organic matter using soybeans. You can, but it's just going to go faster when you plant corn. One other practice that really helps building organic matter quicker is adding manure. When you think about fertility and adding the right plant food for your crop to grow, there are a couple different ways you can do it. Well, there's many different ways you can do it, but the two probably most common ones are adding commercial fertilizer or adding manure. When you think about manure, there is a lot of organic material in that manure and you can start building organic matter quicker. What is manure? Well, it's animal waste, right? And what is organic matter? Well, it's the decayed or decaying plant or animal residue. So as you're adding manure out to the field, normally we're putting on multiple tons per acre, and, and that's a good way to quickly build up organic matter levels out in your soils. Another practice that's really caught on here in just the last few years has been the use of cover crops. The more months out of the year that you can keep a cover on that soil, the better off you are. So obviously you're going to reduce erosion and everybody knows that. But in addition to that, like we say, the more you can have roots growing in the soil and then eventually when that plant dies, the roots will break down and most of those roots or many of those roots will end up becoming organic matter. That's a great thing for the long term. So use cover crops. Now which cover crop you're going to use, it obviously can make a difference. So you can just look at, there are charts out there. We have some even at agphd.com under our resources tab, talking about which cover crops are best for building organic matter. But almost anything you raise is a lot better than nothing. So that's the big thing I guess I would say, especially if you have some growing season left in the fall after you've taken a crop off. If you can get a cover crop on there, you've got a lot better shot at building organic matter long-term. One other thing that you could do to help build more organic matter quicker is to build more roots. Biological products are on the market today that are shown to improve root growth on plants. So I, I get it, it's not as big a deal as reducing tillage, but it is something that could help on a smaller scale building more roots and ultimately building more organic matter. All right, so once again, if you want to build organic matter in your soil, which we think is incredibly important in most soils, the first thing you should do is reduce tillage. Next, you want to plant crops with lots of roots. Then consider using manure or compost, either way is fine. 
cover crops, and biological products. That really should help you in both the short term and long term building up that soil on your farm. Fortunately, controlling our Weed of the Week isn't a five-step process. We'll show you what will work to stop it coming up later in the show.